talk about me too. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them? Whatever you do, I'm on your side. There's nothing clear in my life. Don't ever change. You're all I've got, no matter what. Now what do you say we give her a try? All right. All right. You get the logs. Stand back. And here we go. It works. It does. It does. Oh, Papa, you did it. You really did it. You'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I know it. Who knows? You made that well at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you the scarf for good luck. Now I know I'll win. And then we'll go to all those places you've read, read about in your books. Oh. Well, I'm off. Oh, goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Belle. Be careful. First prize is nearly mine. It's so simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. I must have missed a sign. I'm the head of the household, and what I say goes! 
Oh, that bitch. You are always trying to make me jealous. Well, it won't work this time. Me? What about you? With Michelle? See, Pierre? Veronique? Jacques? Ooh, I remember Veronique. <laughs> Vivian, we've got to get him out of here. What's going to happen with the master by then? Well, calm yourself, Cosmos. The master will never have to know. <laughs> As I was saying, the master is bound to find out sooner or later. Ah, no, no, hey, Tom, there is absolutely no reason to bad it. Vivian Price says, absolutely no reason to bad it. There are the There's a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by the wolves. Who let him in? Also, may I take this time to say I was against it from the start? Who dared to disobey me? You have all betrayed me. Who are you? Maurice! What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods! You are not welcome here! I lost my way in the It's hideous, isn't it? No! You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? I have just been the place to stay for the night. Oh, I'll give you a place to stay!
have found that? No. Think! In the woods somewhere! Sure! Give me those roads! Then he's still out there somewhere. You have to take me back. In the woods again? The food, don't you understand? Something must have happened. You have to take me back. No, I'm your life! Then I'll find it myself. Papa! How did you find me? Oh, your hands are on ice. 
Who's done this to you? There is no time to explain. You must leave at once. I won't leave you. Please, you have to leave now. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who is it? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release the father at once. I am the master of this castle.
something like a warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're, uh, you, you're, oh, Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Who, who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the greatest star to ever grace the stage, but to fall under one little spell. Shh. This is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. Now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? That, that's nice, but how would you like to wear one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got in my drawer. Oh, here we are. I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer fitting into it now. Go on, take it. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Well, of course you are. You've heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry, it's just, this is all happening so fast. Yeah. 
with large. And now I'm from the heat bottles and make so long run through the side of a bush.
It won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? Relax. Relax? Relax? How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Oh. This is not good. Not good. Just calm yourself, Audrey. But uh, everything's happening so fast. What's going to go next? My mom? It's okay. It's, we're all in this of uh, Hello, Master. It's time for dinner. Where is she? Uh, perhaps I should go and see about her. Won't be a moment. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell will be broken again by midnight. Oh yeah, it's not that easy, it's going to take time. But we don't have time, so Rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful. I'm... Well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> I... I don't know how! You could uh, start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wheat. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all... What?! You must control your temper! Well? Where is she? Who? Oh, the girl! Swell under the Due to the circumstances. I mean, she's in the middle of. She's not coming. She, she's not coming. What did you say? I said she's not coming. No! We'll see about that! Let me ask Stan aside. I know I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What? You can't just go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. Oh. Rude. Is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, then I'll try to go again. This may not be the best way to win the girl's affection. Please try to act like a gentleman. Why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner! See what you want? You admit you're being a bully. A deep breath. I will give her one last chance. Be so fine as to join me.
heart who's not serving, he's not born without a soul to wait on all those good old days when we were too small. Suddenly those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than rusting, needing exercise and chance to be rusting. Most days we just lay around the castle. Thanks to some quick 
keep me on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that size was quarried in this area. What's up there? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. <laughs> so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. <laughs> hiding? Who said anything about hiding? Well, it wouldn't be forbidden then, would it? And perhaps Mark Dizel would like to and say something else. We have tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Potentious. Maybe later. Perhaps some of you would like to see the gardens or the library. Do you have a library? Oh yes, with books. Lots of books. Scads of books. Mountains of books. Fierce of books. Clumpers to lots of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books on every subject by every author who has ever said pen to papier.
be able to rest for you. And you should learn to control your temper. <laughs> Hold still. This may sting you. By the way, thank you for saving my life. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? It's losing petals at an alarm. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Perhaps it's time we give them a little push.
but you have done. Yeah. 
Bella, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone here is so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere. With me. Yes. I must speak from Zahara. Is something wrong? I was just thinking about your father. I wish I could see him. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything, anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa! Oh no! Papa! Something's wrong! I think he's lost! I should! I should! You should go to him. But what about? But what about this one? You haven't been for a long time. So you always have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Bob, uh, I... Yes? Go. Go! Go! I'll never see her again. Tell me, Maurice. 
What did you stop having? Is delusions. It's not a delusion. The beast is real. And so is the talking clock. <laughs> Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know my father's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding. If... If what? If you'll marry me. What? What? I'm little worried about it. It's all day. Never! <laughs> Fine. Have it your way. Take the old man. No. Wait. Wait.
glory without glory in the flesh. Get up. What's the matter, beast? Too kind and gentle to fight back. You were in love with her, weren't you, beast? Ha! Huh, that's a good one. Did you really think a girl like that would want a thing like you? What a fool. It's over here. Well, it's mine. Oh, you 
again. Wake me again. Wake me again. Still has been joking. Oh, yeah. Cogsworth. Oh, my Cogsworth. Now, let's go find your father. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It most certainly was. Ah, Babette, you look so much better.